Welcome to a short video about creating forms and then adding navigation buttons to a form in Microsoft Access 2007. I've got a little table of some details about students and I might want to display some of these. So a form is one way to do that. I can create a form by clicking on create and getting a form wizard to do most of the work. If I didn't want to get the form wizard to do most of the work, I wouldn't do that and I wouldn't save changes. I'd still go to create, but this time I'd go to form design and now I can add the fields that I want. Perhaps I don't want them all. I can add student ID, uh, I can add forename, I can add surname. I might put them one after the other and actually do without the labels. Uh, so I can get rid of the labels and put forename and surname one after the other. Um, maybe I want to put some scores in, probably need labels for those. Mock exams, and coursework scores. Uh, I perhaps don't need everything else. So now I want to be able to scroll backwards and forwards. Access will allow me to do that if I look in Datasheet View. Um, it gives me the default scroll buttons um, at the bottom and it's given me um, a rather dull looking form in Datasheet View. In Form View it's slightly better, but these buttons are rather well hidden. So I'm going to go back into Design View and see if I can do any better. Um, I've got a selection of controls, which are objects I can place on forms up here, uh, and I'm going to go and look for a button. Uh, that's a button, um, and if I've got this wizard enabled here, Use Control Wizards, when I drag a button out on my form, up should come some possible ideas. That didn't seem to work right. That's what you have to do. Now I get Command Button Wizard, um, and it allows me to, for example, play with record navigations. I'm going to try and mimic the standard video type controls of fast forward, fast backwards, and so on. So the left hand most button is going to be go to the first record, and I'll use that graphic display for that. Go to first, there we are. A command button should have a name, and I'm going to call it go to first record. Okay, that name is useful if I ever need to look at properties, um, but the symbol on it, the little icon, tells me what it's going to do. I'd put on the rest of the buttons in the same way, not making the mistake I made first time. First of all, select the button and then drag it out. Uh, if I were doing this neatly, uh, I'd line them all up. Um, but now I just want to have go to the previous record. It's going to be my next one. Um, and that'll be fine. I'll use the picture and I'll call it command or CMD for short, go to previous record. I don't think I want to use spaces in names, so that's why I've just used capital letters for each new word. So let's tidy it all up and line them up with the uh, little line there at the bottom, and I could carry on and have the next and the last record um, in very much the same way. Now if I look at that in form view, um, there we are, and I can scroll. Oh, I'm actually already at the first one. That's no good for test purposes. So I'll go to record number three and test I can move back to number two. So I can go back to record number three and test that I can go to the first one. Remember, it's always a good idea whenever you do anything with any piece of software, test it straight away, because if you leave it, you might have done something else that will make things even worse, and you'll have trouble tracking down the problem. So you do something, you test it. If it doesn't work, you sort it out. If it does work, fine, you move on to the next. I hope you find that helpful. We'll do some more videos with more tricks another time.